Thank you, Gerard. Now we're back with the second part of the Guy Cater Show, and tonight we're going to be talking to a marvellous magician, Mick Peck. Well, thanks, Guy. Great to be here. Well, the person I'm going to be tonight has had a lot of hits on the hit parade. <laughs> uh, they're most popular in the mid to late 1980s, and this person is known for wearing outlandish clothing on stage. So tonight, Guy, I'm going to be Cindy Lauper. Yeah, I think you're in the wrong show. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is this The Bachelor? Not The Bachelor. Oh, no. oh you're, you're wearing, yes, yeah, cool. beautiful. Class, mate. No, sorry, mate. <laughs> this is my show. Is it? And, and I interview good, wonderful, and talented New Zealand variety artists. Who cancelled? I may have made a mistake. Yeah, who cancelled? Yes. <laughs> I tell you what, you should have got John Rolls on your show. Because if you had John Rolls on your show, a lot of people would tune in to watch John Rolls. Not least yeah. of all would be John Rolls. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> no, we, we can't have John because uh, he is averse to hair dye. And is I would it? have a problem with that. You're yes. not meant to mention the hair dye. Yeah. Oh, I it's, always mention the hair dye. It's natural Always, guy. yeah. Very yeah. natural, yes. Is it down, down? I want to talk about you. Okay. I mean, it's fun, but uh, you are the uh, secretary treasurer of the BAM, Brotherhood of Auckland Magicians. Yes. You're the president in charge of vice at the... Uh, Variety Artist Club, I beg your pardon, Vice President, Vice President yes. at the Variety Artist Club Underneath Club Museum. our friend Tom Sharplin. Exactly. Who's watching at home. Now Tom, you must get some gigs. You turn the TV off, go and do some gigs. You're also an award-winning magician. Apparently, yeah. How did all this happen? Where did it start? Well, I have a memory guy, early memory. I turned on the TV and I saw David Copperfield vanishing into the Bermuda Triangle. That was quite cool. And then um, Paul Daniels, big inspiration to me when I was young. He did the trick with the big kettle. And he poured all different, all drinks. different drinks out. Mm -hmm. People call out wine, he pours wine, they say brandy, he pours out brandy. Yes. And I remember watching that as a kid and I thought, oh, this is interesting, let's, uh, let's get into this magic thing. So, <laughs> it was because a, of the alcohol. Uh, yeah, and it was all downhill from there. Uh, of course, yeah. yes, yes. Mick, you're a member of the London Magic Circle. How did that happen? Well, you have to know someone, friends in high places. You've seen that guy Dynamo on TV? Uh -huh. That's funny, he can walk on water and he can like levitate, but he can't get over a speech impediment. <laughs> no, it's um, <laughs> magic circle. It's actually quite difficult to join. There's some magic yes. clubs that you can yeah. just, you know, send your money in and they sign you up. But magic, uh, magic circle of London, you have to send them a big resume of all you've done in magic. And I had to tell them what I've done with magic clubs over the years and what sort of shows. I do. It was quite, it was quite in depth. And I didn't hear from them from like, for, for like a month. And I thought, oh, they must not like me. But um, it came through and I was accepted, so. They must have been drinking out of Paul's uh, kettle. Funny, yeah. funny kettle. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. No, well, congratulations on that. Thank you. And I know we're here to have fun as well as promote you. Now, you've had an awesome award. I have had an awesome award. Yes. You've been reading my Wikipedia page there, Guy. I definitely have. Yes. It's and your website. Beautiful website, by the way. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, very good. Thank you. We'll put a, we'll put a little we'll thing, put a thing up yeah. there. That's, that's called marketing, folks. Yes. Um, awesome Service Award. It's uh, nominated by Happy Customers. And the winners are decided upon by Michael Barnett from the Auckland Chamber of Commerce. I did a uh, show for a lady, very lovely lady. She wrote a nice letter saying, oh, Mick did a great job. And so, um, and they gave me the Awesome Service Award. So very, very proud of that one. Well, I think that's wonderful. So your mum can write quite she nice can, letters. Yes, she can, yes. She said, oh, Mick's the best magician in the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And he's very good looking and he has a red hanky. It's very, very nice. It's shiny shoes. You must be very busy with all these magic clubs that you're involved in and I mean on an administrative level. I am. We've just, uh, last yeah. week we did a big show, it's called the Magic Moments Family Comedy Magic Show. We do that every year. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fundraising show for the Brotherhood of Auckland Magicians. We have a whole lot of magicians, we jam them all into a little space, we stir them all up and we see what happens on stage. A lot, <laughs> lot of fun. <laughs> And of course you're involved with the Variety Artists Club. Yes, Variety Artists Club, Vice President of the Variety Artists Club. And, and you've uh, just had a big concert as well? We have. We did the uh, amazing VAC mm -hmm. Variety Show. We had John Rolls, Tina Cross, some guy called Mick Peck who let the side down. And um, mm -hmm. great show, it's great a show. A lot, lot of fun. We're talking about you. We're talking about magic. You're answering some of the questions. But we haven't seen any magic. No, we haven't seen any magic. I think you should do a little magic. What's the fee, Guy? What's, what's the we could discuss that later. It'll yeah. probably disappear. The fee? The fee, yes. Well, I said, Guy, I'd come here for free, but the tricks are extra. Oh, I see. Well, we can, we, we can certainly work on that. OK. Take a check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, picked, I wasn't going to do a trick, Guy, but just oh. for you. 
I like it. I picked this up in the uh, in the kitchen out, out the front. I uh, remember in the 80s there was that program was called That's Incredible. I do remember. And there are all these guys on there who claim to be able to change the consistency of metal. People like Yuri Geller. Yeah, Yuri Geller. They, they could like look at a spoon and you know, do weird stuff. I've been working on it. When really? I, yeah. Concentrate on the spoon guy. I too will concentrate on the spoon. And our combined effort should achieve what? I'm going I'm to try and get the spoon to move. Oh, okay. wonderful. Now, Guy, be honest with me, can you see that spoon move? No. What about now? Yes, there we go. Yeah? Are we impressed? Okay, one, one more time. Okay, concentrate on the spoon. I promise you it will move, okay? Okay. Watch the spoon. Everyone at home, concentrate on the spoon. This one, not that one. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Are we good? Now. Was that magic? You have to decide. I think it was very good. Thank you, Guy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, here's, here's the thing, though. I, you, you're not impressed. I said that I was going to change the consistency of the metal of the spoon. You did. And I guess something happened because the spoon is now a fork. Ah, oh, now that's magic, yeah? Mick. That, that is magic. That's a fork and good trick. <laughs> <laughs> ask me another question. I'm going to ask you another question. <laughs> One of the things with variety artists uh, in a country the size of New Zealand with our small population can you make a living? You can make a living. Um, yeah, good, good question. There's, it, there, of course, there's two words to show business. There's show and business. So mm -hmm. if there's no business, then there's no show. So as well as having a, a tight show, you need to be able to market yourself. You need to have good customer skills. Very, very important. Uh, people need to like you, which I'm still working on. Well, that uh, must be difficult. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if, 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 you, if you have something unique, if, you can, if you're willing to work on it, then yes, you can, you can make a living. Do you do self-promoting or do you use agencies or everything? Uh, I use a bit of everything. I actually use, it's called the onion method. It's a very, very famous, have you ever heard of the onion no, method? No, I haven't. It's called stay at home in bed and wait for the phone to ring. <laughs> it's very good. And, uh, Often doesn't work. Well, it seems to work okay for me because I... Where the oh, because of the red handkerchief, of course. That's the main thing. Yes. Yeah, get yourself a red hanky, guy. <laughs> now, most entertainers have either a level they wish to achieve or a dream that they wish to come true. Yes. Have you got anything like that? Well, my dreams come true, guy. I've always wanted to be on your show, mm. and I'm here. And it's a bit, you know, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, it's, I'm, it's, it's I'm, a bit emotional for me, guy. Yes. Um, um, I hope I'm not covering the microphone there. I'll be, I'll be good. No. I'm, 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 I'm quite touched by that. Are you? And I, I think you're a little touched as well. Yes, yes I, have, yeah. I have been touched, yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Uh, so the future? The future. The pick. The future, well, um, can we get serious for a minute here, Guy? Are we, are we, doing, are we doing jokes? Or? Um, I got into magic as a kid. I did a lot of um, kid shows, and I've been doing that now for about 10 years. I'm moving more into the corporate uh, sleight of hand uh, stuff now. Not to say that I don't like doing kid shows, I still like doing kid shows, but um, maybe moving away more into the corporate walk around. So if anyone's watching, they want me to come and walk around your banquet, irritate all your staff, I'm happy to come and do that for you. Despite all the jokes, you're very, very skilled. There must have been a lot of hours spent working. And I know you didn't want to get too serious, but you do have skills that people absolutely love. Well, thank you, Guy. Yeah. Thank you for you noticing. Did. Yes. <laughs> Despite all the jokes, it's been a real pleasure having you on, Mick. Now I move forward. Yes. Because we're so far away. Yes. And now we shake oh, hands. No. Look at that. Thank you, Guy. Okay. Great to be here. God bless you. Mick Peck. <laughs> Well, that's our show for tonight. I'd like to thank my special guests, Gerard Smith and Mick Peck. I'd like to invite you back here to see the Guy Tater Show, same time, same channel, next week. And don't forget, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Good night.